regular AirPods, Beats Flex or AirPods Pro? Which should you buy? I'll help you find out in less than 5 minutes, so let's go. Ok, let's start with the basic AirPods, the benchmark for wireless earbuds, released in 2016 when Apple removed the headphone jack on iPhone 7. They become standard for Bluetooth earbuds, and now they are just dead. They are super popular, but basic. They offer decent sound, mainly excelling with voice of any kind, from vocals in songs, through podcasts and videos, to voice calls, super useful nowadays. Their main strength is convenience. They are super small and fit even in the small pocket of your jeans. They auto pair with your iPhone and auto pause when you take them out of your ears. With the case, you can recharge them and it's good because otherwise they last for about 5 hours of continuous playback. Now, their biggest downsides are lack of noise isolation of any kind and lack of any controls except for double tap gesture. If you don't have Apple Watch, you have to ask Siri, which isn't optimal in some public situations to say at least, uh, or pull the phone out of your pocket. Who should buy them? Well, people in Apple ecosystem who don't mind paying extra for convenience and mostly will use them for voice calls or watching YouTube videos and less for listening uh, to the music on, say, public transport where lack of any noise isolation forces you to unhealthy crank the volume up. Uh, also, with price of $199 for the wireless charging option, you might go for the AirPods Pro. For 50 bucks more, they have wireless charging standard. They come with different sized tips, active noise cancelling, both better isolation and transparency mode, so you can hear people talk to you, uh, and much richer sound, especially the bass, while still excelling in the mids. They also support more controls, though still no volume control except Siri, and honestly, they are my personal choice. And if music is important for you and you're in Apple ecosystem, you should consider them too. They are also good for sports, thanks to silicone tips and sweat resistance, though still they cost 250 bucks. Currently for sale uh, for 220 at Amazon, link below, uh, which is almost five times more than Beats Flex, our final option and the newest and cheapest from Apple. And cheapest doesn't mean worst, because they excel in some key areas. Uh, for starters, they have great battery life of 12 hours and different sized silicon tips, which means they fit better and isolate better than regular AirPods. They have W1 chip for instant pairing, really good sound, which unlike previous bits, isn't that bass heavy, by the way. I had to change the EQ to more bass in settings because uh, personally I prefer that thick bass when listening to say Eminem. But they are actually better sounding in regular AirPods uh, thanks to this isolation from the tips. AirPods Pro are still better, but cost much much more. Also Beats Flex are great if you are an Android user because you actually don't miss any features. There is no feature iPhone exclusive here. They even have inline remote with volume control and even though they don't have ear detection, they auto pause when clasped together hanging from your neck, which is super cool upgrade from Beats X. They charge via USB-C, which is surprising from Apple, but even better for Android users. Their only downside for me is the lack of sweat resistance, but I guess that's what power beats are for. Overall, if you are even considering Beats Flex, go for them. They won't disappoint and are current value king in Bluetooth uh, earphones. But to sum up who should buy these? Well, people who love listening to music, who want best deal, who want this isolation from traffic when commuting, people who need basic earphones, maybe your parents bought iPhone 12 and need new headset, or uh, for students to for online classes, or Android users, or basically anyone who want great uh, affordable headphones. If you want the best at all cost, go for the AirPods Pro and skip regular AirPods till uh, Gen 3 arrives. Check my impressions of the Beast Flex here and subscribe for iPhone 12 mini <laughs> battery drain test dropping early on Friday 13th. And stay safe guys.